Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, today we're about to dive into a drama more twisted than the Queen's Corgis after too many royal biscuits. That's right, we're talking about the latest bombshell to rock the British monarchy. 24 dukes, count them, 20 Felgur, have signed a petition to strip our boy Harry of his royal title and kick him out of the succession line faster than you can say, makes it. Now I know what you're thinking, but wait, can they actually do that? Well, grab your popcorn and your favorite cup of Earl Grey, because we're about to unpack this royal mess like it's a suitcase full of dirty laundry. Which, let's be honest, is pretty much what Harry's been airing for the past few years. First off, let's talk about these dukes. We're not talking about John Wayne here, folks. These are 24 of England's finest blue bloods, the creme de la creme of the aristocracy, the top tier of the Toft Tower. And they are M.A.D. We're talking finding out someone used the wrong fork at a state dinner level of mad. The Duke of Devonshire, apparently speaking for this posse of peeve peers, basically said, Enough is enough. Which, in aristocrat speak, is pretty much the equivalent of hold my beer, I'm about to throw down. They're sick and tired of Harry's antics, which is a very polite way of saying constantly trashing his family in public for book deals and Netflix specials. Now, let's be real for a second. Harry's latest book, Spares and Hairs, which, by the way, sounds more like a plumbing company than a royal memoir, was apparently the straw that broke the camel's back, or in this case, the feather that tipped the crown. This book spilled more tea than the Boston Tea Party, and these dukes are not here for it. Harry's been dropping bombshells like they're going out of style. Racism in the palace? Check. Family drama? Double check. Intimate details that make you want to cover your ears and go la la la. Oh, you better believe it. It's like he's trying to turn the monarchy into a reality show. Keeping up with the Windsors, anyone. But here's the kicker. These dukes aren't just mad. They're scared. They're worried that Harry's loose lips might sink the royal ship. And let's be honest, the monarchy's been through more storms than a British summer. But this might be the tempest that tips the teacup. The Duke of Norfolk. And no, that's not a character from a Shakespeare play. It's a real dude. Basically said Harry's chosen to hang with the cool kids who want to tear down the monarchy, so he can't sit with them anymore. It's like mean girls, but with more castles and less pink. Now, stripping someone of their royal title isn't like taking away a kid's Xbox privileges. This is big boy stuff. These dukes know they're playing with fire, and they might get burned. But they're all. Bring it on. We've got a duty to the crown, and we're not afraid to get our fancy gloves dirty. Can we talk about Harry's response for a hot second? Our boy came out swinging, calling the dukes a cable of outdated power-hungry relics. Ouch. That's got to sting more than the time Prince Philip tried to make small talk at a foreign dignitary dinner. Harry's basically saying, you can't fire me, I quit. But honey, I hate to break it to you, but they're not just firing you. They're trying to erase you from the family tree faster than you can say, 23 and meh. Now I know some of you out there are thinking, but isn't this all a bit harsh? Poor Harry. And look, I get it. The guy's been through a lot, lost his mom, grew up in the public eye, married a woman who makes the tabloids salivate more than a dog at a butcher shop. But here's the thing. Being a royal isn't just about fancy hats and waving from balconies. It's a job and a tough one at that. These dupes are basically saying, look, Harry, you had one job, smile, wave, cut ribbons, and don't air the family's dirty laundry. And buddy, you failed spectacularly. It's like if I showed up to work in my pajamas, told all my coworkers their breath stinks, and then wondered why I got fired. Actions have consequences, even if you're sixth in line to the throne. But let's zoom out for a second and look at the bigger picture. This isn't just about Harry. This is about the future of the monarchy itself. These dukes are drawing a line in the sand, probably with a very expensive monogrammed stick, and saying, this far, no further. They're like the bouncers at the world's most exclusive club, and Harry just got his VIP pass revoked. And can we talk about the timing for a hot second? 
The ink on Queen Elizabeth's obituary is barely dry. King Charles is still trying to figure out which crown goes with which outfit. And now this. It's like the royal family can't catch a break. They're dealing with more drama than a Shakespeare festival, and it's all playing out on the world stage. But here's where it gets really interesting. This move by the Dukes isn't just about punishing Harry. It's a message to the whole world. Mess with the monarchy, and you'll get the horns. Or in this case, the very pointy end of 24 dukedoms. They're basically saying, We've been around for centuries, and we're not about to let some ginger prince with a grudge and a ghostwriter take us down. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, but isn't this all a bit medieval? Stripping titles, banishing princes, it's all a bit Game of Thrones, isn't it? And you're not wrong. But here's the thing. The monarchy is medieval. That's kind of their whole stick. They're not supposed to be modern and relatable. They're supposed to be this ancient, mysterious institution that somehow still matters in a world of TikTok and crypto. And that's what Harry doesn't seem to get. He wants to have his cake and eat it too. He wants the perks of being royal without any of the responsibility. He wants to be able to trash his family in public and still get invited to Christmas dinner at Sandringham. Sorry, buddy, but that's not how this works. You can't be half in, half out of the royal family any more than you can be half pregnant. So, what's next for our favorite royal rebel? Will he fight this decision? Will he finally realize that maybe, just maybe, he's gone too far? Or will he double down and write another book? Spares and hairs too. Electric Boogaloo, perhaps? And what about Megan in all this? She's been suspiciously quiet lately. Is she plotting her next move? Planning another Oprah interview? Or is she just sitting back, eating popcorn, and watching the fireworks like the rest of us? One thing's for sure, this drama is far from over. The royal family has weathered many storms, from Henry VIII's marital musical chairs to Edward VIII's abdication. But this, this feels different. This feels like a turning point. The monarchy is at a crossroads. On one side, you have tradition, duty, and 24 very angry dukes. On the other, you have Harry, modernity, and a Netflix deal. It's like watching a very posh, very British version of Civil War. And honestly, I'm here for it. Because let's face it, folks, in a world that can sometimes feel a bit too serious, a bit too doom and gloom, we need this kind of ridiculous drama. It's like a pressure valve for our collective stress. Who cares about global warming when Harry's getting his royal butt kicked by a bunch of dukes? So, here's to you, Prince Harry, you magnificent chaos agent. May your drama never cease, may your tea always be piping hot, and may you always have a Netflix camera crew nearby to capture it all. And to you, my dear YouTube fam, what do you think about all this royal ruckus? Are you Team Dukes or Team Harry? Or are you like me, firmly on Team Pass the Popcorn? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed this royal roasting session, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. Because trust me, with the British royal family, there's always more drama just around the corner. Until then thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.